So this video is on motivating you to find um, this sense of purpose in your life. Because it can seem, particularly if your, your life, your job right now is fairly comfortable, to um, give that up, to go beyond that, to risk that, can feel like, why would I do that, right? Like, why would I do that? Like, I'm doing okay, you know, maybe I'm not quite satisfied, or I'm a little drained at the end of the day, or I'm not sure I'm really giving my guess, but you know, basically I pay the rent, I'm doing okay. So um, we talked before about putting the gun to your head in various ways to do that, so look at that video. Um, another strategy is to actually just talk through the, the, the likely consequences, yeah? So what I would suggest, and I've done this with many coaching clients, is to find someone who's what I call a committed listener. Someone who's gonna listen with care without taking the mick out of you. Um, you know, a good 20, 30 minutes for this. And spend at least 10 minutes on each side. So 10 minutes talking through what would happen um, in your life if you didn't ever find something that to you was a, it might not be the calling or the purpose, but a sense of deep meaning in your work, to be happy, to be creative, to be contributing to other people. So how, what, what would that be if you didn't find that, if you died with that um, being uh, the unlived life, as it were, yeah? You know, how would that feel? What would the consequences be? How would that be for your children if you have them? There's a way in which you're really facing that pain is like, you know what? I think most people kind of know, but don't want to look at it. Yeah, that's why we have another video on um, uh, not uh, distracting yourself, giving up distractions, yeah? So, but actually to turn to it and say, okay, the consequence is I'll waste my life. The consequence is I'll die unfulfilled. The consequence might be, I don't know, I don't attract the partner that's really uh, aligned with my values. The consequence is people aren't helped by the thing that I have that I'd love to help them with, yeah? And, and that can be difficult, so make no mistake, this could be a painful kind of 10 minutes, yeah? But it's only 10 minutes, you're with someone supportive. Next 10 minutes, what would be the possibilities the other way? So, talks about you could do this with a visioning board, you know, it's kind of a bit cheesy, but classic, you know, it works. Um, but also just talking through with someone like, here's how my life could be if I chose to do this. So it's still the realm of possibility and very much like if you chose to. Um, this is how it would impact, in fact, my family, my relationship, this is how I'd feel. Uh, this is, you know, I don't actually know what it looked like, but this is what it could be like. And really building that, um, uh, that picture, that vision of what it could be like in a positive way. Now I usually say do both of these things because some people, are, we have what's called before, um, away from and towards people, like carrot and stick basically, right? It's like different people seem to be more motivated by one than the other. Um, so by doing both, you, you cover both those bases. Um, obviously the second one can seem more fun, but that can even that can also be painful as well. Yeah, and remember the point here is not to beat yourself up. The point here is not to be like, oh, bad me, I'm not you know, living the life of my dreams and all that nonsense, but to actually go, you know what, something is possible. And I might not be perfect at this, but a step in that direction might be beneficial for me. Yeah, it could be a step away from the unlived life or the step towards that being more fulfilled, more satisfied, living uh, more according to your values, right? So this isn't about make a million bucks, it's what are your values moving towards that? So I offer that to you uh, as an exercise um, if you find yourself in that place of feeling a bit comfortable, feeling a bit stuck and needing to um, cross the threshold and needing a little bit of extra oomph for that.